hello YouTube beer tubers welcome to cheer to beers my name is Travis and tonight we are looking at Green Flash Brewing Company Imperial IPA this was sent to me in a trade from Epic Beer Dude one of the three Imperial IPAs he sent me or the three IPAs he sent me two Imperial and one regular IPA um, I'm pretty sure we do get this one in Ohio but um, <laughs> I'm not sure what the dating is this is probably um, pretty fresh, you know, since it's made in California and that's where he's at. So I've, ha I've had the regular before. I don't remember it w really well. I remember it being good. So let's get into this one and see what we uh, got. Alright, and the pour, I mean, obviously I pour most of my beers into these glasses just very vigorously. So you get <laughs> huge amounts of head, four, three, four finger head. Um, in, the, in these kind of beers, maybe the stout you don't get that, but yeah, the, I mean, huge head on this beer, and then the color, it's it's very orange, uh, maybe a slight copper orange color. Head's uh, head's pretty pretty uh, frothy, sticking around, a little bit of off white, um, thick, yeah, tiny white bubbles on the outside. Um, definitely a, a, a decent looking beer. Alright guys, I'm excited. Let's see what this thing smells like. Wow, right up front is that citrus, uh, pineapple kind of smell, followed up by some pine actually. Yeah, definitely, this is a good smelling beer. Yeah, right up front, it's that. It's definitely pineapple, citrus, um, but you do get some of that pine in there as well. Yeah, but this thing is all hops, all fruit, fruit hops pretty much in this. Okay guys, here we go. Let's get to the taste of the Green Flash Imperial IPA. The smell is actually a lot better than the taste. Um, in the taste, I'm, I'm getting a lot of the bitterness right up front and all the way through. Um, it's not ripping, you know, the enamel off your teeth or <laughs> anything like that, but it, it is very bitter. Um, it takes away a little bit from the taste. And it's it's medium, medium mouthfeel. It drinks I just want to say it drinks kind of muddy. I don't know. It just has that mouth feel. That it's not the most pleasant. It's just not 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 what you typically enjoy. Yeah, it's uh, you know, you're you're getting slight amounts of those uh, citrus notes in the taste, but really, it's it's a lot of bitterness throughout the whole mouth. But um, some of those citrus notes too, but nothing that's I don't think, I think the bitterness is a little overpowering so far in this beer. Yeah, so overall, I don't have too much poured in the glass. I might get some more in there. Um, see what we got. This thing, I think, weighs in at 9 point, yeah, 9.4 ABV. Um, and the IBUs have to be pretty darn high because this thing is very bitter. But let me sip on this for a bit, and I'll come back uh, and give you guys my final thoughts. Not as not the worst I've had bitterness-wise, um, but I think the bitterness um, is so much that it, the the bitterness is so much that it takes away from the taste because the taste isn't enough. Um, so uh, overall, it, it's a pretty good beer, and uh, I, I might get it again if I'm looking for um, a double IPA, Imperial IPA, you know, and, and there's not much I can find. I might pick this up, um, but I'm not going to seek it out if there's better IP, double IPAs on the shelf. I'm, I'm going to probably pass this one up. Maybe even for a couple regular IPAs, I'll pass this one up. Um, so if you can get it, yeah, I might check it out, see what you think. It might be, you might like it a lot if you like those bitter bombs, you know, a lot of bitterness in those. But overall, I, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's okay. I'm going to give it a B. And, <laughs> you know, for me, I love this style of beer, and that's a pretty low rating for a double IPA. Um, it's kind of teetering on B, B minus, just because you know the smells really great, just the drinkability is really low, and the taste just doesn't come through with enough to keep me wanting more. So I'm gonna finish this bomber, enjoy it, and uh, thanks to Epic Beer Dude for sending this beer. <laughs> um, even if I rate a beer kind of low, or I mean I guess a B isn't low, but even if I rate it low, I enjoy you know getting trades, trying new beer. Um, it's all about trying the next beer, the newest beer. Um, beers I can't get, so uh, awesome. Thanks a lot, Epic Beer Dude. I'm um, enjoying them so far. You'll see the next two coming up. I think I'm going to review them all. Um, but all right, guys, uh, yeah, the Green Flash Imperial IPA gets a B from Cheer to Beers. Let me know what you guys thought of it. Cheers.